Hello my dear friends, in today's video you will learn how you can create this amazing animated infographic in PowerPoint step by step. This kind of infographic is perfect for comparing to products, services or anything else that you wish. I'll show you how you can design this slide and how to add animations. So let's go! Ok my dear friends, so let's jump to the bottom of the slide list and let's hit enter to insert a new slide. And as you can see this slide comes with the title and subtitle placeholder, a place for your logo and this beautiful custom slide number. And all of this is possible because I have created a slide layout in the slide master view. And if you would be interested in learning how to create these modern slide layouts, then I've got a PowerPoint masterclass that will teach you everything you need to know on how to create professional PowerPoint templates. And it's available for absolutely free on Skillshare, who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. And what's awesome about Skillshare is that you can find classes about pretty much any topic that you wish. And I've always wanted to learn how to create my own 3D models that I could use in my presentations. And this class, 3D Modeling in Blender by Derek Elliott, was a perfect start for me in my 3D journey. And you know, learning 3D might sound intimidating, but with Derek's instruction, I was navigating Blender in no time. And with his help and his tips, I've designed my first 3D object, this cute orange ball that I could import and use in PowerPoint. So how awesome is that? And you know, if you're truly serious about mastering 3D, then you can take Derek's 3D learning path which is like a collection of classes that will take you from beginner to pro. And the best thing is that you can access all of these classes completely for free during the one month free trial. So if you're one of the first 500 people to click the link in the video description, then you'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Ok my dear friends, so let's jump into our beautiful empty slide and let me quickly fill the slide title and the subtitle. Alright, that's looking good and now let me jump to my previous slide and let's take a look at the slide design one more time. And as you can see, here in the center of the slide we have this white shape with a subtle shadow. So let me show you how you can create it as well. And before we continue, let me turn on the guides or the grid for this slide layout. In this case, I have a grid of 18 columns and 8 rows. And as we can see, this white shape in the middle has the width of 2 columns and the height of 6 rows. And by the way, if you'd like to learn how you could create a grid like this for your slide, then definitely check out the modern PowerPoint template class on Skillshare. Link is in the video description. And now let's insert a rectangle in the middle of the slide following the same dimensions, so two columns for the width and six rows for the height. Ok my friends, and next let's fill this rectangle with a beautiful white fill, so let's just right click on it, let's jump into the format shape. Let's go into the fill options and let's choose white, that's nice. And for the line, let's choose no line and currently this rectangle should look like as if it is invisible. But don't worry, let's jump into the shadow settings and let's choose this preset in the center. And now let me adjust the shadow settings, so for the transparency let's use 20%. Ok, for the blur, let's go with 100 points. So currently as you can see this shadow is really harsh. And now for the size, let's use 70, ok. And now this way it looks like as if the shadow is only in this middle area and this way we get this beautiful shadow effect. And next my friends, let me show you how we can create these beautiful product labels and bubbles. So let's just go to insert shapes, let's find the circle tool and now we can hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle, that's nice. And now let's fill this guy with a beautiful gradient fill. And to save some time, let me jump back to my previous slide. Let's select this guy and let's click on Format Painter. And let's click on this guy. And skadoosh, the same gradient fill has been copied. OK. And now for that little label, we can insert a little rounded rectangle. OK. We can double click inside to type in anything that we wish. And once again, we can use the Format Painter to copy the style from this guy. Or we can use the shortcut key Ctrl Shift C to copy the style. Now let's get back to our slide, let's select this guy and let's hit Ctrl Shift V and skadoosh, this way we have easily pasted the style, that's nice. And of course if you'd like to group these two guys, make sure you select them both and hit Ctrl G to group and now they're in a single group, that's nice. 
but let me just copy both of these groups from my previous slide and let's paste them over here to save some time. Okay, you're doing a wonderful job and next let me show you how we can design those subtle rounded rectangles that we have here in the background, so these gray rounded rectangles. And once again, let's just go to insert shapes and let's just insert a rounded rectangle. Let's use that yellow handle to make this rounded rectangle fully rounded. Let's stretch it a bit and let's make it wider, that's nice. And for the outlines, let's use no lines. And for the fill, let's go with this light shade of gray, okay? And let's send this guy to back, so that this white shape is on top, that's nice. And now we can just hold down the control shift keys to drag some copies in a straight line and make as many copies as you wish, okay? And once you're done with one side, you can select all of these guys and make some copies and drag them to the right side. And make sure that you bring that white shape in the middle of this light to front so that it stays on top. That's nice. And now that you know how to create these rounded rectangles, let me actually select them, let's delete them, and let me copy them from my previous slide just to make sure that we get the same consistent design. And by the way, if you have the free PowerPoint add-in bright slide, you can select one shape, go to select object and choose fill color. And this way you'll quickly select all of the shapes that have the same fill color. That's nice. And now let's hit Ctrl C to copy, let's get back to our slide, let's hit Ctrl V to paste, and let's send all of these guys to back. That's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay my dear friends, and next let me show you how we can create those colorful parts that should be sliding out. So let's just select this rounded rectangle, let's duplicate it, and let me quickly fill it with this beautiful gradient fill, okay? And now let's just make sure that we align this orange guy with this gray guy in the background. So we can align them to the right side first and then to the top. Or if you have the bright slide add-in, you can use the productivity shortcuts, okay? You can select both of these guys. And by the way, let me show you where you can find those productivity shortcuts. So here they are. So make sure you select a couple of shapes and then you can hold down the control key and then just use your arrow keys. And in this case, it's right and up. That's nice. And next, let's adjust the length of this orange guy. Let's say it should correspond to 75%. So somewhere around here. And we can double click inside to type in anything that we wish. So let's just type in 75%. And let's make sure that that white shape stays on top. And now let's add a couple of animations to this orange rounded rectangle so that it slides out. And let's jump into the animation pane. Let me delete all of the animations so that we can start from scratch. Let's select this orange guy, let's go to add animation and let's look for the motion path line animation. Here it is, okay. And let's choose the correct direction because currently it's going downwards. So let's choose left, okay. And let's give it a preview and currently as you can see it's going to the left side. We actually want the opposite to happen. So let's choose reverse path direction. Let's give it a preview once again. Now it's looking much better. So here in the animation options, we can adjust the duration of the animation. Let's make it one second and we can double click the motion path animation to jump into animation options and let's apply a maximum smooth end. Okay, so this way we have a softer landing. That's nice. And now as you can see, once we play the animation, the left side of this orange guy sticks out. So let me show you how we can hide the left edge. And before that, let's actually grab this red bubble and let's adjust it a bit, let's move it to the left, okay, that's looking good. And now let's make sure that we select this orange rounded rectangle and let's add one more animation to it. And let's add an entrance animation which is a wipe animation. Let's move it upwards in the animation pane. And for the motion path animation, let's make sure it starts with previous together with the first animation. And for this wipe animation, let's add the duration to 0.6. And for the direction, let's choose from right. And now let's check it out. And skadoosh, now we don't see the left edge, we just see the right edge. And this is what we want to see. And now let's check it out on the full screen and now it is working as expected. It is basically growing out of that white shape with a shadow. Nice. And to illustrate how this animation really works, let me copy this orange guy and let's paste it into a new slide over here. And let's check out these two animations. And as you can see, the rounded rectangle is moving to the right side with the help of the motion path. And at the same time, it is being wiped by the wipe animation from the right side. So let me delete the motion path animation for now. So this is the wipe animation only. Okay. 
Let's add the motion path animation once again, and this is the combination of these two animations. And this way we get this kind of moving masked animation that works really well in this kind of slide design. Okay, so that's looking beautiful. Let's give it a preview a few more times. That's nice. And now we can select this orange guy and let's hit Ctrl D to duplicate it because now we'll be creating a purple guy on the left side, okay? And now let me align this second orange rounded rectangle with this gray rounded rectangle here at the top. So let's select both of these guys and let's use those productivity shortcuts. That's nice. And next, let me grab this beautiful gradient from this circle and let's apply it to this rounded rectangle. As you can see, the text alignment is set to left. And for the orange guy, we have the text alignment set to right. And as always, let's make sure that that white shape stays on top. Okay. And now let's open up the selection pane and let me hide this orange rounded rectangle for now. This way it will be easier to work with this purple guy on the left side. And now let's adjust its motion path. Let's make sure that we drag it to the right side, just like that. And at the same time, let's jump into the animation pane. Let's select the wipe animation. And this time we would like for the wipe animation to happen from the left side. So let's choose direction from left. And now this purple guy is sliding to the left side. That's beautiful. Okay. And of course, if you wish, you can adjust the length of your bar. So let's stretch it to the max and let's type in 100%. And at the same time, let's make sure that the motion path animation distance is set correctly. As you can see, I'm making sure that that semi-transparent copy is basically touching the original copy. Okay. And let's check out these animations one more time and it seems like everything is working as expected. And now in the selection pane, let's hit show all so that we see all of the elements on the slide. And by the way, we can give this orange guy a proper name, for example, right one. And we can name this purple guy, for example, left one. Okay. This way in the animation pane, it will be much easier to follow all of the animations. That's nice. So currently the right side and the left side animations are happening on separate clicks. Let's check it out on the full screen. Once we click for the first time, we see the orange guy. And on the second click, we see the purple guy. And let's say we'd like for these two animations to happen at the same time. And to make that happen, let's make sure that the wipe animation of the left side is happening with previous together with the first animation. Let's check it out on the full screen. And on a single mouse click, all of the animations are being launched. That's super duper awesome. And by the way, let me copy these labels from my previous slide and let's copy these guys into our slide as well. And let's remove their animations. We don't have to worry about that. And let's check it out on the full screen once again. And on a single mouse click, we see all of the animations. That's nice. And by following the same steps, you can add as many of those beautiful animated sliding bars as you need. In this case, we have five animated options. Congratulations, my friends. Now you know how you can create this beautiful animated infographic in PowerPoint. Thank you so much for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next one.